Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off The Range. Today I'm gonna to start a new project. So, as you can see here, I have this um, shelving unit that I bought a few years ago. I actually had it setting side by side and I put these, um, you know, some wood on the top of it and made it into a workbench and a reloading bench. So I have a just a little Irwin vise right here and then a uh, reloading press over there and uh, we actually moved them back to what is going to be the unfinished side of our basement which it's obviously kind of a cluster right now because we are currently working on the basement and making a bathroom and you know a TV room and all that kind of stuff but um, we brought the benches over on this side of the wall put some electricity behind each of them and I thought um, one good thing to have is have some way to organize my tools and my reloading equipment. So um, what we have here is this <clears throat> wall control. Um, wall control makes metal pegboard. And I have, I ordered several panels. And as you can see, it's green. So, the idea is, and this won't be exactly symmetrical, but I'll put a few panels here and probably actually cut a hole in it so that the outlet can actually be incorporated into the pegboard. Um, and you know that it's, you know, the pegboard's not so far up. But, you know, I'll put a few pieces across here depending on how the holes line up, I might have to put um, an extra brace on each 2x4 just so that it actually lines up. But I'll put a few here, and I'll put a few here in a slightly different configuration. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet, but you'll see by the end of the video. And then in here I just have an assortment of different brackets. So like, got some screwdriver holders and Got, these are just a couple small brackets for some smaller tools. Um, this is a bracket that I can hang a hammer from. So just a few uh, different assorted um, brackets and you know hooks and stuff that I'm going to put on this side. Um, it's a very expensive process, so um, I couldn't get everything I wanted right away, and I didn't even know exactly how I wanted to do it right away, so i just just going to kind of do this in uh, several stages, and this is the first stage mainly was getting the actual pegboard, but now, um, after I get the pegboard up, I'm going to have to decide, you know, what brackets and hooks I want, um, you know, bins, cabinets, shelves, they have all different kinds of things to use with this metal pegboard so it's kind of um you know kind of a lego for big boys type thing but um i'm gonna you know break it out and see how everything lines up and what needs to be braced and what doesn't and cut a hole in one of them and you know we'll see you after i get all that done all right guys it's actually a week later i wanted to get a few more uh brackets and stuff in on a, another order before i showed it off but uh, it's pretty much done. I mean, the actual like setup is going to be an ever-growing and ever-changing setup, but um, this is what I have so far. So if we go over here, we have this little paper towel holder, and it's like a little uh, four-inch shelf. Um, I only ordered one of these brackets, but they sent two for some reason, so uh, I decided to keep both of them and hang um, a variety of tape measures up and I do um, we have more tape measures we have a, way more tape measures than anybody really needs but uh, I might put one more here um, down here I put one of my uh, screwdriver brackets I have two of them and uh, these are just some Stanley screwdrivers I'm probably not going to be the um, the actual screwdrivers I keep here but just for demonstration purposes um, got these two little one by one brackets that I put some scissors and my little gunsmithing hammer in. Um, these are some newer hooks. They're like three inch, like big deep hooks. I put a, um, 
a two foot level on. Um, I cut out this hole here for the outlet and I'm going to put a, a cover over it so that it's not exposed like this. Um, haven't done that yet obviously. I got some of these little, these are not from wall control by the way, but these are just some little brackets that I got off of eBay to hang my Makita batteries. I got seven of them, there's only five of them here, but uh, actually I got six of them and they sent an extra, so kind of a, a theme here that you know people I buy stuff from actually send extra things that I didn't buy, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, I got a little six pack of these little like seven eighths inch hooks. Um, I was hoping that they would hold my little torpedo level, um, but they don't because it's not, you know, it's it, they're not long enough. But I did put this little pair of Irwin, Irwin vice grips pliers up here, and then I have a little um, hammer bracket here that I got a, a rubber mallet and a, a regular claw hammer on. So that's the left side for the workbench. Over here, actually let me get my light. Over here, we have my reloading bench set up and I wanted to wait before I got all the stuff I wanted just to see how spacing was gonna go, but I got six of these bins <clears throat> and they're on another one of those like uh, little brackets. This one's actually 14 inches long. Um, ironically, they also sent me one extra of those because originally I only I ordered six bins but only one of these brackets so that I could check for spacing because on the other side I wanted to put one of these uh, uh, nine inch shelves and I, want, I just wanted to see if it would space out to where it would actually fit and it does it fits perfectly so um, I'm not exactly sure how I want to set it up, but I want to get at least one more shelf, possibly two, and possibly do the right side all shelves going up, and the left side just a bunch of bins and you know possibly another shelf up there. I mean, there's quite a bit of space here for bins. I wasn't exactly sure how the spacing would work, um, and you never know. I might uh, just put the shelf just up top and put the bottom for bins. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but this so far is the setup. Um, and again, this stuff, most of this stuff anyway, is made by wall control, which is just basically metal pegboard and brackets and hooks and shelves and other accessories like these bins and stuff. Um, and they make some cabinets as well. So um, if you have a workbench or a garage or whatever, and you want to um, have yourself a nice setup like this. Check out wall control. Um, it gets pretty pricey, but it is a nice setup and um, it's just, you know, you can make it whatever you want. You can buy how many, um, however many panels you want, however many different types of brackets and shelves and, and hooks and all these different things. And like, you know, up here, you know, they have this uh, paper towel roll holder. Um, you know, they have, there's like a um, magnetic light that you can stick on the actual pegboard and have a light. I mean, they got all kinds of different things and um, the pegboard itself, so you got slots, which all their brackets come with the slotted uh, type hook in. But like down here, these are made for just like your regular pegboard. So they have, um, they go into the actual like little circular holes so you can use regular pegboard hooks as well um, so that's really cool but anyway that is my setup so far again it is going to change and you know have more things in it obviously over time um, and I do have plenty of room to expand so I thought it was pretty cool and I think it's going to be very useful I'm actually going to get some more of this stuff uh, for my girlfriend's barn so she can hang like her pitchforks and her hammers and you know whatever tools she wants so um, If you like this idea and this concept go check out wallcontrol.com They got all different colors of, of Panels and all different colors of brackets and hooks and everything that you could ever want to organize your tools and whatever else you could possibly hang on here like 
over there, that's going to be reloading supplies like bullets and primers and powders and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that was Redneck Off the Range and until next time, be safe.